you remember what type of game it was? Was it a racing game or a fighting game or maybe just a good old puzzle? Chances are it was the second one, a fighting game. Take a look at the top three most played games in the world, PUBG, Crossfire and Dungeon Fighter. What do all of these three have in common? They're violent games. They involve shooting people, fighting people and ultimately killing people. These games are immensely popular across the world. PUBG, for example, has 1.2 billion users. Crossfire has 1 billion users. Dungeon Fighter has 850 million users. A 16-year-old boy shot his mother in Lucknow. He kept her body inside the house for two days. Even locked up his sister to keep the police away. Do you know why this happened? Because the mother scolded him for playing PUBG. Apparently, the boy was addicted. When his mother stopped him from playing, he shot her. Who do you blame for this crime? The child who got addicted, the parents who ignored it, or the company that made this game? Perhaps all three. Gaming addiction is a real medical condition. In 2018, the World Health Organization listed it in their medical reference book. They called it gaming disorder. How do you identify it? Most doctors list out five big signs. Thinking about games all the time feeling bad when you can't play, not being able to quit or reduce your gaming time, feeling the need to play in order to feel good, and having problems at work or school because of gaming. If you have one or more of these symptoms, you have to be careful. You must seek help.